Hey guys, welcome back to You've Got This. Today I'm doing a video for you on the power of little bits. Let me explain to you what I mean by the power of little bits. You've heard the saying that a journey begins with a single step. And I am proposing to you that any goal that you have in life is met by taking a series of little steps. On this channel, we focus on some basic life skills to get you where you wanna be in life. We talk specifically about how to maintain your home, how to take care of your finances, to manage your finances, and also your well-being. And any of those topics are achieved in the long run by the small, consistent steps that you take. And I just finished doing a video, you may have already seen it, and it was the three tips in life that you might want to keep in mind to help you create the life you want. And that was simplicity, minimalism, and consistency. Well, the power of little bits ties into those concepts. Let me give you some very specific examples so you can see what I mean when I say the power of little bits. I used to train in karate a lot and I admired one of my senseis, well I admired both of my senseis very much, but one of my friends was also a sensei that instructed me and I used to admire how she approached her training. You can't have perfection you can't have instant speed or perfect technique, but you work at it incrementally. And so she would invoke this phrase that she would say when we were training, if we were sparring or practicing kata, which are forms, she would say one in 10, one in 10. If she could get one attempt in 10 attempts right, she considered it a success. She considered it a success. And, um, what that, what I did was watch her as she would, over time, consistently pick a piece of a kata, of a form, or pick a sparring combination that she wanted to use in during fighting, um, and repeat it and work on it until she had that, and then she would go to the next, and then she would go to the next, and I watched her over the years go from just your average practitioner to somebody who was highly skilled because she had faith that if she took those small steps, they would add up to one big picture, which was a, a great, highly skilled practitioner in karate. Likewise, another example is I know somebody and he's here today and I'm speaking to him off camera, part of the production crew, who I see have amazing results in his exercise routine and in his physical fitness because of the way he trains, which is not taking huge blocks of time, but by working incrementally in small bits of time, taking small bits, small steps, and that's what we're talking about, to achieve the final picture. So I would like to ask, Kai, how many minutes a day would you say that you train in you know, exercise or fitness? Well, like 20 to 30 minutes. About 20 Just to 30 minutes. Little, little bits of my day. Uh huh. <laughs> I like the way you repeat the word bits. Um, but anyway, so, and would you say that you are at a, a fitness level that you um, feel good about? It's the highest fitness level I think anyone could ever achieve. <laughs> no, no, I, I, do, I do feel good about it. Yeah. And I do feel very comfortable with my fitness level. And yeah. Then yeah. I can, you know, go do whatever I want to do and mm -hmm. feel very good about myself physically. And, mm -hmm. um, so, no, I am, I am very content with it. Yeah. yeah. And so what you've done is you've taken a little, an increment of something, an increment of time, a small increment of time, and applied it consistently, and that is the power of little bits, because he's very 
fit and I someday you'll see him on camera but he's strong and he also incorporates another little bit here and another little bit there his diet and his 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 rest he takes very seriously getting good sleep so um, that's an example of little bits that get you to a final goal and this is the key to life okay you might feel overwhelmed because you feel like you need to do it all at once you need to do it in a big way no break things down into the little incremental steps that you need to take and the power of little bits will get you there's a symbiosis there is a momentum that builds over time uh, on the previous work you've done in anything another part of the production crew my daughter is studying and working full-time so she's got long work hours and she's also studying taking some courses online one of them microbiology and my question for her, because she's working towards the goal of a program, another program beyond her um, undergraduate degree. So my question is, how, how do you break up your study time so that you can reach this big goal of becoming a, a, a nurse practitioner? I guess I would answer your question with a question. <laughs> and that question is, how do you eat an elephant? Ah, one bite at a time. One bite at a time. Yeah. Um, so I, um, you know, whenever I have time off, <laughs> guys laughing at my answer, um, I try to dedicate at least a couple of hours uh, into getting a chapter done. Um, you know, here and there, I don't try and knock it all out in one day. That, that would never work out for me very well because I, I tend to lose focus after a few hours. So uh, I just make sure I'm really consistent and um, when I have the time, just give myself a couple hours to get some schoolwork done. Right. All right. And so as you can see, there's no way to accomplish these things all at once in one big get-go. You need to break it down. You have to believe in the power of little bits implement it in your life and you will see progress in any area. Do you want to save money? What are all the little things that you can do to save money so that you have a secure financial future? What are the little things that you can do to create a great quality of life for yourself? And make small steps towards that and I promise it will build on itself and in the end you'll have a a product you'll have accomplished it so that's the power of little bits I hope you found that helpful if you did please like the video if you haven't please subscribe and please check out my website you've got this life.com for all kinds of other stuff that you might find interesting thanks bye